Hey guys, this is Top with some more Guild Wars 2 coverage. Today we're going to do a quick video showcasing combos. During Beta Weekend 2, I came up with a really fun elemental spell that uses staff. And staff elementals have great access to making fire, ice, and water combo fields. And that's cool and all, but here's a key part. I took the Arcane Wave utility skill. And this gives me ready access to a blast finisher, even as a staff user. So suddenly my elementalist can bring group might buffs, even better AoE healing, or a, a rare AoE frost armor buff to the table. So this allows for some really neat tactical play where you can generate your own combos. Let's take a look. So you can see that this thief opened up on me with haste and started bringing me low pretty fast. I was able to respond by dropping frozen ground underneath us and then use my arcane wave to give myself frost armor. This makes it so the thief gets even more chill stack on him as he continues to attack me. Now since he got distracted by my ally, I'm able to load him up with a mobilized cripple and then set up an eruption, which I then lay a lava font on top of to get three stacks of might. I then continue to kite him with more immobilizing effects and get more might by using arcane wave on another lava font. Okay, so go ahead and skipping ahead a bit. Here we're in a larger melee and when my allies goes down while well, I'm fighting this mesmer. So I go ahead and I revive him and then afterward I drop some water fields to heal him and use arcane wave again to get some extra burst healing out. So by f you know trying my best to go ahead and keep my allies up and healthy while I'm doing pretty reasonable damage on my own, we're able to pretty handily take this 3v3. The buffs and healing that a staff elementalist can put out are pretty significant and the blast finishers actually help that out a lot. So here's a neat clip of me fighting on my own and using the combos. Uh, I come up to the keep and see a thief who is guarding it, so I go ahead and I drop a static field on him to stun him. Now he advances on me, so I go ahead and go into melee range with him and dance on top of my lava font while using arcane wave to buff myself with might. Note that if he wants to continue to use his double daggers on me, he's going to have to sit in my lava font with me and I'm, that's going to put out pretty significant damage. And even if he does want to try to get away, I'm able to use my immobilize to keep him in it. Now, since he stealths and I know that he's still there, I go ahead and I drop a meteor shower. And then as he uses his elite, I run to line of sight him around the statue here. And then I notice that his engineer ally has showed up. So this is a 2v1 now. So I go ahead and I continue to kite around the statue to lower the incoming damage while setting up my combo fields. Now look at how huge these fields are, especially healing rain. That's because I have the blasting staff trait, and it's really essential to this build, because I have full freedom to avoid their attacks while staying inside of my combo fields. You couldn't keep the key. Really so as we continue to fight, my water elemental uh, puts up some more ice fields, and I'm actually able to use those as well to get frost armor using my arcane wave. I managed to down that engineer. Now I know that the thief is still around so I just go ahead and continue to use area effect damaging attacks on the engineer to hope that the thief comes out and takes some of that damage and I go ahead and just keep frost armor up just in case. Now uh, by the time the thief does actually get the nerf to actually attack me I'm fully restored and I'm able to take him out without too much trouble. So. So that wasn't really that great of play on their part. The thief really should have been a little bit less uh, squeamish about attacking me. I don't think that he realized that I was able to use those combo fields to really take advantage of him. So yeah, this was actually a lot of fun. I think that actually some of the most fun builds that I want to continue to explore are these kinds of combo heavy builds. It'll just be especially fun to coordinate with a friend or two to get a ton out of these combos. I really wish I had the chance to play with someone that had smoke fields for some area effects delf fun, but um... It's definitely very viable, and you should check it out if you're interested in something like this. Thanks for watching the video. Let me know what you think, and if you like it, go ahead and subscribe so you know when more content comes out. Also, if you have any requests content-wise, just go ahead and leave a comment. I read them, and I take them into account when I'm planning these things out. Alright, well, thanks again, and I'll see you guys next time.